Hi everyone, you're here with me, Sars, from First Magazine, and I'm here to interview Simon Webb from Blue. Hey, what's up, man? Um, I'm really excited, actually. I'm a bit, I'm a bit uh, starstruck. Starstruck? Yeah. The only stars <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> Striker. Okay. <Top> <laughs> So we're here, we're here in Birmingham at the Institute. This is your yeah. second show. How's it going? Do you know what? This, this place brings back a lot of mem memories because um, the guy behind the camera right now um, brought me to my first ever concerts. Big up, Eric. Uh, so the first concert was Wu-Tang. Um, I think that was at the Q Club. Okay. And then the second one was here with Redman. Yeah, so this brings back a lot of memories for me. And then obviously I went jungle raving here as well. I love jungle raving. Oh, we won't reminisce. But um, what's the buzz like being back? The oh, fans. Do you know what? We feel very, very blessed to, to, to have the opportunity to, to come back. I mean, we've been we've been out in Europe for the last couple of years, so we've okay. we've had a, quite a lot of success out there. But you know, we always said that it was all about home. Really, it's about your backyard and uh, coming back to, to the UK because of the big reunion that, that yeah. sort of gave us the platform. And now we're slowly building on that. Okay. And the fans are still here supporting you. That that's not changed. Yes. We've gotten a little bit older, but we're still here. In full, in full support. Um, so what about reality TV? Are you going to do anything more like that? Acting, um, anything like that? No, do you know what? I'm, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm happy that I was able to explore other parts of the entertainment industry, sure. you know, by doing these movies and... Rolling you know, with the Nines. Rolling with the Nines. Yeah, that was my first film. And that was just a, that was just a friend of mine. And actually, okay. my brother's... Um, well, I, well, it was family actually that, that asked us to do it, which was which was a great experience for sure. me because you know people like um, who was in it now. Vass Blackwood. Vass was in it, yeah. yeah. But I, just having people like look, I, I grew up on the real McCoy, so okay, just having yeah. all those actors yeah. around me, you know, it was it was a, it was a great experience. And then I went into the West End with Whoopi Goldberg and so did um, right, yeah. Sister Act. Yeah, what was that like? It was a massive eye opener. I mean, she was like your favourite auntie. Yeah. You know, she was playing blow darts at the at the side of the <laughs> stage. Basically, she had this game when you was reading out your lines and two thousand people are watching you. She'd blow a dart, and if you you had to pretend to die, mid sentence, <laughs> without the crowd knowing about it, and it was like what? And it was just you know you learn little tips off her, and she sure. was she was fantastic. And what was it like working with like the likes of uh, Jessica? What's her name? Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, Jennifer. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, like? um, bloody hell. Uh, I do know the step. You do, don't you? You've done your homework. Yeah, no, working with Jennifer was amazing. I mean, she was obviously in the sister act as well. Yeah, yeah. So it just feels like everything's just been linked and, like, my sure. path has been laid out for me. All i yeah. got to do is just kind of go with my gut feeling and and actually believe in myself, and that's what I've always done. Sure. Um, and now and I'm you've here. you've been really successful as well, haven't you? Well, yeah, but like... Double platinum? Triple platinum. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Triple yeah. yeah, but I went double platinum on my solo stuff. But that's I mean, it's what I'm not. Saying. Yeah, that's but what I'm I mean, saying. yeah. I'm, that's yeah, by myself. Really yeah, it is. It's, it's a great achievement. But like, yeah. I always, I never thought I deserved it. I always really? thought it was a fluke. I don't know. I don't but know. You're very talented. Good actor. People say that. People say that. Good actor. Very handsome. That. Thank you. Good Thank singer. You. Thank good you. dancer. Thank you. So you deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> what about reality? Would you ever reality do TV. Like, it's not for um, me. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. I've done it. Oh, you have, didn't you? Yeah, I did it in 2008. Oh, yeah, he, he did it. He did it. I did it already. How yeah. was it eating the bugs and? I didn't eat any. Luckily for me, I was liked. So nobody put me through like the the tragic. <laughs> Tusk, as it took, took was Tucker Trials? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They never put me through any of those. I did one way in water, which was, which yeah, was really bad. But I remember that. Yeah, split my head open and there was all spiders in in the water. So would you would you ever do anything more? You did Big Brother, Strictly Come Dancing. I didn't do no. I went into Big Brother you to went into to, Big to do Brother. a task. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? You you had no, housemates backing you. Actually, did you ever do Big Brother? I'm a sort of person that says never say never. But I don't, I'm not really one of those people who, who it's, those, those kind of shows are personality competitions. Sure. I, I'm not a believer in competing like that. Okay. Um, but like I say, never say never, you never know. Sure. And what about 2014? What you got planned? 2014, we've got a couple of tours lined up, which we, which we will be announcing in January. Okay. Um, it's going to be a very exciting year. We, mm -hmm. um, we've definitely, you know, we've done our building blocks this year. Sure. Um, just to let people know, we've got, like I say, ha having a sellout tour. 
as an independent label as okay, well. Independent. We're not we're not with a major. Okay. You know, we put our own money into this. We believe in ourselves, and it's paying off. And the fans believe in you as well, because I'm I'm like amazed at the turnout. I'm not saying that you know there won't be a good turnout, but, but you know I was queuing outside and I saw the the queues and oh, yeah, you, I saw the, you, you the excitement. And, you and me both. You and me both. I mean, I never. What well, the thing is about us, we never want to take anything for granted. Mm -hmm. Everyone's gone. You know, people do talk about our old stats: 20 million records sold, 40 number ones around the world. Oh my God. So out and John, you did this, and it's yeah. like, yeah, but the music industry's changed so much. Have you noticed the change coming back? Well, yeah, well, well there wasn't any YouTube when we was around. There was no tube, this tube, that tube, <laughs> this space, that space, forwards and backwards space. Facebook, Twitter. That too, yeah. I'm just starting to get with social network. I'm trying, starting to get to grips with it now. Yeah. Um, but now you can connect with your fans and you can see yeah. what they want and what they expect. And um, but most of the time we try and keep it real and try not to let that control our lives either at the same time. You've got to find balance. So what would you say to any budding young person out there that wants to start off a group or start singing? What's your one bit of advice? My one bit of advice for those guys would be read a book on management, okay. read a book on the, business, on the music business and read a book on business itself. Okay. Once you've got that backbone, you can do anything you want. And I mean, a great example is... Um, What's his name? Ginger hair guy. Oh, um... Plays guitar and raps. Ed. Sheeran. Ed Sheeran is a perfect example. Okay, so it can be done. Yeah, he had his business plan. What he did, he, he, he knew about his merchandise, he knew where the money was gonna come from, and what he did, he, did build, he built himself up slowly. He started yeah. in his local community and he kept doing it, and then the crowds got bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. Then you break out of your area, and then you break out of your city. Yeah. And next thing you know, as soon, as soon as you're seen by the right people, you, you then break out of your country and then you become a worldwide star. Brilliant, brilliant. So believe oh, in one yourself. More question. One more question. A little birdie tells me that you're really good at football. Was, yeah. Would you, if you hadn't taken off with Blue, do you think you would have pursued football? I most definitely would be playing football right now if I wasn't spotted. Okay. Um, I was injured at the time and I was asked to enter a certain magazine and I won that mm -hmm. and that got me into modelling. And through modelling, I just got auditions, and, okay. and the year I was out, I, I sort of got into blue, so Brilliant. never looked back from then. So who would you have played for? Who, which team? Man United. Uh, yeah, come on. I'm a glory yeah. hunter. Man U. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Simon. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I wish you every success on the tour. No problem. Simon it's, Webb. I'm Simon Webb, and you're watching First Magazine.